All right, let's go with this. I think it's probably the best magnification I can get for the whole front, and I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see all the little doodads and whatnot. You know what's weird? Um, I had a, um, I'm not saying it's unsettling, but it was kind of like a, a bit of an eye opener. I didn't realize I was, uh, no, I can't do that. It's a bit about a bit gossip. How, how, I'll say this. I've been discussing a certain game that has not been, you know, uh, whatever, and someone made a comment who I respect um, massively, and they were saying, boy, that, well, actually, the counters are starting to look a bit cluttered. Um, and I was like, hmm, I, I didn't see it that way. Then I started wondering if um, all my little um, Alberto markers um, are caught, like, are confusing to people to people or like it's way too whatever of course like I'm so immersed into seeing what I see it it's not I don't see it as being confusing does that make sense but I realize it is confusing because when I'm not looking at it for a very long time and I come back to the the table I'm like oh my god this is like what what am I looking at yeah I replace the little dudes with uh, bingo uh, uh, chits, I think that makes a lot more sense, or bingo, whatever the hell they're called, markers or something. Um, and this is it. I think I'm, I finished more or less for the Austro-Hungarians. Um, I'm not going to print them out now. There's no need. But the uh, third and the second army should have 40. Hold on. 53. Uh, so 43, I think, uh, 43 supply points each, I've because uh, they had 55 um, in total, and I gave uh, 12, um, hold on here, what the hell am I doing, 55, so 55, and I'm giving 12 each to each core. The reason being is it's winter time and uh, line of supply is just brutal. So I'm like, okay, I've got to deal with that right off the bat. Even when I'm repairing railheads, I am not a fan of having uh, um, any form of headquarters right at the front. No, 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 no. Not going to happen. Out of an enemy zone of control. Thank you very much. Um, so that's that, uh, or what I can say, that's that. Hold on, 55 minus 24. I can't do that then. I have to give them much less. Son of a bitch, this sucks. Everything I constantly think it's, it's not, yeah, fan, this is not fantasy land anymore. It's reality in the sense that it's like, oh my God, I have to deal with, like, even, um, uh, the first and fourth over here only have 15 string uh, supply points in total. And they've got a monster amount of uh, front to deal with. You know, I've given the, um, for example, the core HQs each um, four. I didn't want to, you know, only give them that little tiny bit, but that's such as life. It, this is um, a wake up call massively. And um, remember, they've also been bolstered by 20 strength points worth, and it's 10, uh, sorry, um, yes, 10 hexes worth of uh, retreat bonus uh, with the German infantry brigades that have been brought over. They've are, like, I'm already doing something historically that happened, and it's, that happened organically. I'm just realizing I needed German help. I'm asking for it. Um, it's not because I'm trying to recreate history. It's just due to the fact that I, I need to, I need help somewhere. And it was like, well, where do you go? That is just bizarre that it's happening that way. I'm so happy. Okay, so we got the first army here, fourth army. Like I said before, we're hoping to God that, uh, and I know Lemberg seems like it's probably the logical choice for the Russians. Con I originally called this the um, the Nistro Offensive. We're going to call it Plan 97 due to the fact for the 97th Langwehr Brigade, the, uh, the Hanved um, Brigade, they were Hungarians. Uh, they got annihilated by four, or I think four divisions, maybe. Yeah, four. It was 
and I put them, went to go and help uh, AIDS. I've got made a t-shirt for them, for goodness sakes. So I want to get a tattoo done for them. I'm trying to still finish off a, a tin whistle tune for them, for God's sakes. Um, it was the first instance I ever realized that uh, playing a Hex Encounter war game could have uh, not only um, significance for uh, looking at uh, history, but it had emotional impact. It had emotional significance, as far as I'm concerned. So there we are. Um, yeah, shoot some letters. I can't give you guys 12 each, maybe 8 each. Hmm, that's 16. So 55, yeah, it makes more sense, right? So let, let me say 55, 45. I don't want to go under 40. That's the problem. Hmm. So maybe six each. Hmm. Well, you're not the, yeah, that makes sense because you're not the main impact, uh, the main focal point for my uh, attacks. It's going to, and I'm not even going to do Cernovitz. Like I said before, I'm trying to scale back. Let's go to Stanislaw first, and we'll start hoping to God that um, we've picked our cards right and gone, gone, you know, in the May 1915 when everything can start going berserk with that one extra hex for supply. Unless I can start being a little bit more smart. Should I always try to think about being at a three and a six? Hmm, interesting. Always think about the worst and uh, do it that way. Uh, the other thing, like I've mentioned, um, and it's going to be kicked into effect, is it's, I'm using the same mechanisms that the Grand Campaign does with the um, uh, unrestricted uh, submarine warfare, in the sense that as soon as that happens, uh, there's an increasing chance the United States, for example, will join the uh, enter the war, and it, then there's a 100% possibility it'll happen. So as soon as somebody starts using aerial asset points, which are going to be, um, you, if the each month if somebody wants to use uh, two supply points, they get a aerial asset point that can at this moment in time can only be used for reconnaissance. You uh, use it from a headquarters that's in uh, has at least um, one hex. I'm going to go now. I think um, one hex in open terrain or, or clear terrain. Sorry. So if you have that, you're good to go. And then you can go extend that from eight hexes and reveal every uh, enemy's uh, strength points if they have you know enemy units in your line of eight hexes. Then. Um, once that happens, that triggers the response of, holy cow, um, you know, countermeasures. Eventually, we're going to get to air warfare. And that's where the aerial asset points can be used for other purposes. We'll get to that at some point in time. So this is it. It's about the bare end of, um, I'm going to remove all this stuff and turn uh, the Austro-Hungarians into bingo chits. And I'll go to another side. Um, and then still deal with the grand strategy and the other aspects of the Austro-Hungarian um, forces, but um, I'm par partialing out things and fully aware of all the um, oh shoots and ladders, all the working um, parts that are happening. I'm still gonna you know pop in and just stop. And go backwards and go again. Um, and that's just the way it is. Probably doesn't matter. Um, so there you go. I think the bingo chits probably are going to help a lot better uh, for uh, you guys to see where the fronts are and so on and forth. And so on and so forth. So the Austro-Hungarians are going to be transformed into... Who did I use? I can't remember. But um, that doesn't matter. I'll go take a look at the old... Uh, was it... Oh, certainly wasn't orange, and certainly is not now purple. It used to be blue. Um, that doesn't matter. And, um, jeepers. 
Yeah, I have to start thinking about other things. Well, it's reality. That's, uh, well, what am I saying? This is a reality, but I mean, there's other people that screw around with my reality. But imagine being able to do this all the time. 24-7. Oh, boobs. All right, that's it. See ya. I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, uh, things are going well. Well, you can see where we're going. All the artillery. Okay, super quick. I'll just do a super quick. I don't know what you can see, like I said. So, these little Napoleonic cannons are my artillery. That little horse metal is a cavalry. The C copyright symbol is a core HQ. Just good to do it. and that means there's German troops there. I'm trying to coordinate the colors for the cores, the green supply points, the white uh, strength points. Um, anything else? Not really. That's about it. Nice and simple in my mind, anyways. Okay. Um, like a hair, I'll pop it in. Hopefully, we can see some all kinds of crazy stuff here. Where are we? Okay, we're there. So there's a core HQ, 12 supply points, an en engineering regiment, part of 3rd Army. I'm just using this as a thing because I need to incorporate things later. It's going to be removed, trust me. Um, another core HQ, 4th uh, Army, which is... Um, oh my god! This is where General Major Gates is. And he's got an engineering uh, regiment there, got four supply points, and you can see BG-20, 4th Army, 4th Corps, because he's connected with the blue dudes. And he's got German troops there, and cavalry troops, and a total of four strength points. Get the idea? I hope, hope you do. Alright, that's it. I am in... Whoa. <laughs> Not the right <laughs> zoom mode. But just, just so bloody, ultra happy. Um, just, um, just, I, oh my god. And it's only 1915. Like, well, not even technically. I'm still in December 1914. Crazyville. I love it. See ya.